Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, we are going to solve a simple example of Kirchhoff's voltage law. Here, the example is find the current flowing through a 6 ohm resistance using KVL. This is 6 ohm resistance and we have to find the current flowing through this resistance. Here, note that uh, we are using here the KVL which is also known as branch current method. The steps for solving the KVL are first name the node, then number two decide the currents and their their directions. So let us start with naming the node. Here this is our first node, let it be A. This is second node, let it be B. This is third node C. Then this is D, E and F. First we have given the names to node. Now decide the currents and their direction. We will assume the current here. Let the current flowing through this 10 volt supply is I1. Now the I1 will come to the point B and here it will get a distributed. Let this current be I2 and therefore this current will be I1 minus I2. So it is I1 minus I2. See that this I2 is coming here. So definitely here at point E these two currents will get added. Now I1 minus I2 plus I2 means will get I1 here because as per KV, KCL Kirchhoff's current law the sum of incoming current is equal to sum of outgoing current and therefore I1 is equal to I1 minus I2 plus I2 and one should note that the current going from a point must be coming back so the current I1 was going from this point and the same current is coming to this point therefore the current uh, here our Kirchhoff's current law satisfies. Now give polarity to each component. Now the components here are the resistances. While giving the polarity one should note that the current entering should be taken as positive. So current entering at this point so it is positive here it's negative. The current entering through this 4 ohm resistance here it is positive it is negative. Don't give the polarity to these voltage sources because they are already having the polarities. We have to give the polarity to components. These are the passive components. Here it is positive. Here it will be negative. I1 minus I2 current is flowing in downward direction. Therefore it is positive and here it is negative. The I1 is now flowing in this direction from E to F. So it is positive and it is negative. Next step is decide the direction of movement and apply KVL. Now we have to decide the direction of movement. You can move clockwise or you can move anticlockwise. Generally, one should decide any one direction. So let us decide the direction of movement A to B, E, F and A. Let it be the clockwise direction and then we will apply KVL and then we will simplify the equation and after that we will solve the equation. Here starting apply KVL to loop A B E F A. If we apply the KVL to this from A to B here there is positive to negative means it is voltage drop. If voltage drop is there the negative will be there. So make it minus 8 times I1. The current passing is I1. But I will provide you one hint. You can consider either first sign or second sign while moving to any direction. So if you are moving in this direction 
let's consider the second sign in our all numericals we are considering the second sign you can either consider first but if you are considering first sign then for all uh, for for whole equation you must consider the first sign here we are considering the second sign so minus i 8 into i1 here the second sign is again negative so minus 6 times the current flowing is i1 minus i2 second sign of this two, 2 ohm is negative so 2 times the current flowing is i1 and here the from while moving from f to a we are having second sign as positive so it's plus 10 equal to 0 if we simplify this equation we will get this minus 8 minus 6 and minus 2 these are minus 16 times i1 then minus times minus is plus so plus 6 times i2 equals to minus 10 this is our equation number 1 now apply kvl to loop b c d e b b c d e b here while moving from b to c the second sign encounters for the 4 ohm resistance is negative so minus 4 times the current flowing is i2 then it's minus 4 the second sign is again minus 10 times current i2 is flowing through this 10 ohm resistance and here the second sign is plus 6 times i1 minus i2 the current flowing is i1 minus i2 we are we have returned to point b then let's finish the equation after simplification you will get 6 times i1 minus 20 i2 is equals to 4 this is your equation number Two. If we solve this equation 1 and 2 simultaneously, then we will get I1 and I2. You can solve this equation on calculator itself. For I1, you will get 6197 ampere, 0 0.6197 ampere and I2 is equals to minus 0 0.0141 ampere remember that here the negative sign is there the negative sign indicates that the assumed direction of i2 is wrong means i2 is flowing in this direction and we have considered the direction is wrong but it will not affect the solution if we have to find the current flowing through this 4 ohm and 10 ohm the i2 is flowing through this so we will consider the other direction and can consider this as positive but we here we have to find the current flowing through a 6 ohm resistance to find the current flowing through 6 ohm resistance the current through 6 ohm register what is that it is equals to i1 minus i2 the value for i1 is 0 0.6197 ampere and i2 is the minus times minus 0 0.0141 ampere so minus times minus it will get added and hence the final answer is 0 0.6338 ampere therefore by using the kvl we can calculate the current flowing through any register Thank you.